making a smart purchase. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I have, as you can see, we have an Apple store here. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight device. Oh, nine. I didn't count that one. Wait. One, two, oh. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really? So it is. So if you don't know what it is, it's a virtual reality computer. So they don't. They don't say that they are a virtual reality like toy. Mm -hmm. It is literally your phone Just virtually. on oh, your head, yeah. right? But you can do like I was watching a 3D movie, Avatar, while I was also. You know, I had my face, my messages pulled up so I could, you know, type messages. Whenever someone calls, a FaceTime pops up. So you got the whole nope. room 360 nope. as your Too much. The is sky, scary. the floor. You can have 16 things going on, right? And rather than being in my bedroom, I can be on a mountaintop looking at, and it literally looks like you feel, you. I got a little sick. Like, because I felt like I was so high in the sky that I might throw up and like I was going to fall over onto out off of the mountain. It's so real. It's so real, y'all. Like um, I'll show I took some video because like, you can screen record what you're seeing. So I took some videos so that I could show some, you know, my, I was like, look, look. And then when you got you, if you call me on FaceTime while I'm on in the virtual reality headset. You, I can share screen share with you, and you can see what I'm seeing. You go like this. So your eyeball is the mouse. Whatever you look at, it highlights it, and then you go boop, and it selects it like the button on the mouse. It's the coolest thing ever, and you can try it out at any Apple store. Okay. okay. It, it's it's the 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 small because you know they have a two fifty six gigabyte, a one terabyte. You know, it, so I, of course you know I had to get the one with the biggest memory. So it was four thousand dollars, and that is ridiculously priced compared to the Android one. That's four ninety nine, wow. and they say it's just as good. But me, I'm an impulse buyer, and I have fourteen days to take it back. So it will be big packaged up today. <laughs> today, the boss and CEO cannot afford. <laughs> to me, it just wasn't worth the price ticket um, for that. For what? Because it's just a phone. It's a phone. Every app that you have on your phone is the same up there. Oh. It's like an iPad, but you you can. But, but I could be sitting in my bed feeling like I'm on an ice top or a, a, the white sand beaches, while instead of in my uh, my condo with my dog snoring beside me, right? You could also do that at a lower price point. I definitely can. And let me just tell you, I again see the potential for eBay. Yeah. Because if I, because, you know, now they make, and I, even for kids, like, I just, I feel like it's, it's, I, I really, honestly, I, I was sitting on the to toilet, reading my emails on it, and I was in the virtual reality setting, I was like, uh, where I, I was on the ocean, it looked like I was on a little, like I was sitting on, in the middle of the ocean, just ocean ripples, no boat, just there, right? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the sky, you can set it to daylight, night, a night scene. And I'm sitting there, and I swear I looked up, and I swear I saw, like, an angel. Look, I bet you I, like, I had a vision. And I was like, this is a realm to another world. I'm a conspiracy theorist, y'all. It yeah. scared me. Yeah. And not to mention, I like, when I was buying it, there was another guy who said, oh, yeah, I got it. I got it for my kids. My kids, you know, they be on it, and... And, and they love it. And I was like, yeah. So I started exploring and I was like, okay, let me, and I'm doing that because that's how you scroll, scroll, right? And I'm like, let me see if I can go to like a X-rated website. Of course you can. No. And you, if Safari's on there. Safari is on there. And then, you know, I went to one of, you know, the popular ones. I don't know anything about these things. <laughs> I don't know about anything about these X-rated sites, but I went to one of my, fa I meant one of the, <laughs> the other people's favorites, right? And I scrolled and scrolled, and there's 3D where it actually, you can <laughs> click on it and it look, virtual reality, it looks like you're actually doing it. 
And I, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to be able to watch the, those types of things, you know, on your private time. I just think that it will detach people yeah. from... Real if I can sit there and I don't need no aggravating ass man in my life, but I or woman, if you know, because it was mostly made for men. Yeah. And all I needed was to put on them glasses, and next thing you know, I got some <laughs> right in front of me, and then I can take it off after I'm done and never talk to your ass again. I just see the part. I see the potential for evil. <laughs> okay. So, with that being said, Very welcome to uh, Mary Neveron <laughs> School of Males. We are live on all platforms, and we are going to have a discussion today about nail sculpting. I'm super excited because we have graduated some of these seniors. They are gone. They have flown the coop, and now I have nothing but my fresh men, fresh ladies here. <laughs> fresh. Well, you're still fresh. No, you're still a freshman. You, in this school, you're either a freshman or a senior. We don't do the in between. No in between. Mm -hmm. You're not here long enough, right? So, good morning, good morning. Um, we also have our student instructor here. If you guys do not know her, she's always on the lives. I'm still it's, in the live. Oh, she's right in the live right, right, right now. So, y'all follow. Y'all follow. Uh, this is Tanika. She is going to be. And she's an instructor in training, and if you're interested in being an instructor, um, just know that for you guys' information, um, I, I only hire my own teacher, my own students. She's a former student here. Um, I only do this instructor program for my students if you uh, want to do the, you know, in person, but it can be done 100% online, and that's for the folks that don't live in Augusta that don't want to, that want to work somewhere else at another school. Fine. Perfect. I'll do that. But if you want to work here, you got to be a student of mine. So, um, yep, there she is, Honey Bee. Honey Bee, Me Hive Nails. Oh, and I'm so proud of her because she just got her a sweet. Yay. Just got a sweet. Yay. And she is in the Atlanta area doing nails. So I'm super excited about that. So um, that's a big step. Definitely a big step. But we're going to talk about sculpting today. So you ladies have already... Um, prepared your hands, and um, Miss Tanika is going to help me uh, pass these around and get things so you guys can see up close, but we have our views. Um, if you are on the live today, I am building up my platform, so for the first time, and this is only for today, you can actually see this, what my students are seeing on YouTube and Facebook, on our Facebook page. Um, that's will be privated after this class, but I'm just testing this out. I'm trying to build up some, um, you know, yeah, a di different different areas. Because that is one thing the guy said this morning on the news. He was like, after the third time they threatened to, you know, shut down TikTok, I went and got Instagram and Twitch and all that. So now he's making the same amount of money in all those places too. So that's what we're trying to do. Okay, so, so. Let's get right to it. Last week where we left off, we talked about the um, tips mm -hmm. and blending, right? So now we're just going to progress right into um, sculpting nails. So why do you guys think you need to learn about sculpting? Or what are, what are the advantages to sculpting? Or why would you not want to do sculpting? I've got a lot of questions for you. So why do you want to learn or think you should learn how to sculpt? I feel like it's a big way to stand out from the other Right. So in this day and age of uh, Gel X, and and you know I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it. I I think it's a great product for professionals. Okay. But in this day and age, you don't even have to know how to do acrylics, tips, sculpting, mm -hmm. overlay. You don't have to know how to do any of it. You can just boop, fit it on, pop it on, stick it in the light, right? That's all that's to it, right? Um, and no skill, no real skill involved. Now, there's education that should be involved, but no, there's no real skill involved in applying a press-on because that's exactly what they are, right? So you mentioned it, that it makes you more marketable or more appealing to, to people who still do want that particular look or want acrylics because I don't care what y'all say 
Acrylics will never die, okay? There will always be that acrylic nail tech out there that's still, and, and Lord knows if it, if it does happen to start to dwindle off, you will be well sought after, okay? Mm -hmm. So when I was doing nails full time, all I did was sculpt. I didn't do, use tips. I've never been a fan of tips and that's because I'm old and are older than most people in the nail game for that actually did nails for a long period of time. And I started when I was 12, back in the, you know, 1900s, 1900s and, and 90s. The early, the early nine nines and the two, that, no, 1992 when I started. It was the 1900s. 1992 when I was 12 years old. I started, I did my first, you know, acrylics when my mom bought me the Tammy Taylor set that you could buy in Sally's when she first started selling it. And it had a VHS tape. Y'all remember those? You know, the little block black things with the little circles in it that you put in the machine. They're like, oh, nobody in here. Yeah, though. no. Um, what is that? Oh, okay. What is that? You didn't speak up. You didn't say nothing. I'm over here trying to get my life together. They like looking at me like, um, what were those? Y'all are the DVD era kids. I ain't even gonna. I ain't even gonna ask if y'all know what Betamax is, but we not going to. Oh Jesus. Anyway, so um. <clears throat> Back, you know, back then, they, she sold, it was a VHS tape, and it was an hour long or 30 minutes long, very short. It wasn't long at all. Actually, it was only 30 minutes long. And it was just her showing how to do forms. And there was not a tip to be tipped. Nowhere. I never saw a tip until the, you know, like, they didn't start selling them in the, in the nail supplies or the cosmetology supplies and stuff like that um, until way, at, way later. So, and then when you did start seeing them, you saw the half well tips and they were in the beauty supply store, like where you buy the wigs and the weaves and stuff. And you just glued those on, blended them in. There was, there was no, you know, I didn't sell acrylic. And now I went to this, I actually took, I got a video coming. I did video. I was in Walmart. I told y'all I, I bought myself some shoes. I mean, some clothes yesterday. And I'm not ashamed to say, cause I'm one of those people. I will put on a Walmart outfit and put and some, some Balenciaga, and some, Balenciaga and shoes, shoes a, a bag, a bag, excuse me, Balenciaga a bag and some Prada shoes, baby. Don't, and make it look, you'd be like, where did you get that from? Girl, don't try it in truth. This is, this is exclusive. No boundaries, okay? Don't play with me, okay? So, um, but I was in Walmart, and I took the opportunity to go over to the nail section. I like to go by there because it looked like they had just freshly stocked. You ever been in Walmart? You're just like, damn, ain't nothing in here. There ain't a matching set. You're like, oh, it's a large and a small. And you're like, obviously, they had just stocked, right? Because everything was, was stocked up. So I... Every time I go to the nail section, it's always, like, picked over, right? Yeah. So they had fresh stuff, so I went, I went over there, and I was like, look at all these different press-ons, and the press-on game is, is lit in Walmart, okay? KISS, I think is what they call it. KISS press-ons. Um, but let me just say, if you're doing press-ons and you're not – and you're charging these absorbent amounts. I don't know how you're, you're, because Walmart is charging six dollars for a set of press ons. And I took pictures of it in video. I was like, oh, six dollars? What are they trying to do? They trying to push y'all right on out the game with the, for the press on folks. To, but at, but they were, they were regular. So if, but think about it, y'all should be at least if you selling press ons, they just had some that were just jelly colored like. Just plain jelly blue, like a jelly blue. That's it. And uh, they were six dollars for that. Now, mind you, they look teeny. T I don't even think I could have fit not now one of them on my thumb. I'm gonna be honest when I was looking at it, but I didn't open the box and I just was curious. And then I looked down at the bottom, and they had a DIY bootleg gel X set, right? Oh, wow. DIY with a little light that probably wouldn't even cure. What? Oh, no. Gel it couldn't uh, cure nothing, let alone the, the gel that you adhere it with. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I took a video. I looked at it. I was like, oh, okay. And it was like 
$29. Like, okay. So they really trying to market uh, DIY activities yeah. as far as nails are concerned. Yeah. And this is why I'm not worried at all about um, those particular products pushing us out of a job. Because before you know it, all you DIY people, yes, I'm talking about you and you and you and you, all y'all, uh, are going to be allergic. Mm -hmm. You're going to have an allergy mm -hmm. that you can't get rid of because once you got it, yes, it it's yours. <laughs> you will forever be sensitive to acrylics and acrylates, mm -hmm. okay, gels and gel polishes. And you're going to now want somebody to do it for you professionally. I'm going to try to find you a a nail technician that can save your nails because you done ruined them and now you have an allergy. And the answer is going to probably be no, you can't because you have a severe or a, a, an allergy that will be with you forever. So that will eventually make its way through the TikToks and the, you know, because now how, how many of you guys are now seeing regular people use the word contact dermatitis? Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. so many. You mean yes. the people are listening? Oh, yeah, no. Contact dermatitis. Yeah, she said, oh, yeah, clearly. Dial soap. That's anti back. She has acne. Right. Okay, that's not contact. You cannot cure contact dermatitis with antibacterial soap. That's like saying you can wash off an STD. Come on, seriously. Get out of here. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm not worried about it. So they will eventually make their way. The, all the, you know, well, you know, us, we were doing it. They, nobody told us we needed to be trained on how to do this. And now we can't do our now. And then they'll be running back to the nail techs. Okay, so I ain't worried about it. It don't take long. It don't take long. It'll, 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 it'll whip back around. So with that being said, yeah, itching and burning, all that stuff. So with that being said, the acrylics ain't going nowhere. And, but there aren't very many people that are trained on how to do sculpted nails properly. Mm -hmm. So I will say, and I said this yesterday and the day before, that um, some of the stuff that you're going to learn today, because this is the, you know, the elite. <laughs> we are the elite when it comes to... It does say that on my website. Y'all know that, right? But, and this was yeah, before the elite. The Augusta's Elite Nail Technology School. Stop playing with me. I started saying that before the boss is CEO. Okay? And I was a boss of CEO when I said it. Okay? But no, you. since we are an elite nail technology school, um, you guys are going to learn some things today that I had never even thought about when I was in nail school. Okay. And in other words, a class, I took a class with crystal nails. And if y'all don't know that brand, you should, um, they, um, have some of the most amazing nail technicians, educators working for them. Um, but I took a class with a lady named Gwen Deadman. She is amazing. She wins competitions, sculpting competitions all over the world. And she did a class and it was three days. It was online and it was a thousand dollars. So you guys are going to get a little, a little bit of that today. Okay, so this is, we're going to talk, we're not going to talk advanced sculpting, like, but I'm going to, we're going to get there so I can get you excited to start looking into other things like that. Because as a nails tech, you can take these courses online. They're all over the place. Okay. But take them from reputable companies. Stop taking them from the TikTok stars, man. Okay. Because they don't, they just telling you what they heard somebody else say. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So. Advantages. We talked about a couple, right? Let me put my let me put my slide up there. All right. So, I told y'all last week that I hate tips. I don't like them. I sell them, but I don't like to use them because they are a time drain. Like they drain your time when it comes to doing the sets. Like I want to get a set done in an hour. And when I sculpt a set, I can get one done from start to finish in 45 minutes. That's with prep, laying the acrylic, sculpt, shaping it, and putting a clear top coat on it, okay? Not the polish and all that, because I usually use cover paints when I'm doing nails. My biggest, um, my clientele wanted perfectly sculpted cover paint nails that they didn't need to wear polish with. That was a lot of my clientele. So, why does it take a lot of time to, to do tips? You gotta fit the tip, you gotta put, 
glue the tip. You don't, now you don't, oh, I don't have no more left of this size. Let me dig in here. I think I got some refills over here. Uh, oh, Lord, that she, we got us an extra large thumb over here. What are we going to do? Now I got to find my toe tips and put them on. And then you got to shape the tip, cut the tip, file the tip, blend the tip, do all that. And before you done did all of that, by the time you finish that, I've already sculpted one hand. She got enough my hand. Okay, so time. And I know everything that you learn that's new is going to take you long. You're like, uh-uh, I can, I can do tips quicker than this. Of course, because you've done those before. So it takes practice, and you're not going to get all that practice today or next week in school. It's going to be outside, okay? Now, you will never have to sculpt a nail ever again outside of State Board. That's it. But you have to at State Board. Sculpt a nail. So with that being said, it's important that you at least grasp this um, concept well enough to do one at State Board. Okay. And can you tell us, because you recently got your license. I did. How did your experience go with the sculpting at State Board? Um, tell us about it. That was probably the part that I was the most scared of, honestly. But I will say, and, and I'm going to be fully transparent, I did not practice my sculpting outside of grade school. Like, once I left school, I was like, okay, I'm done. But that was the part that scared me the most. Honestly, if you, and I say this about anything that's on the state board, if you pay attention to what Miss Mary's telling you, apply the things that she's telling you to what you're doing, it'll be easy breezy. The biggest thing that I had to keep in mind was not to make it too thick. I want to, of course, I want to pass with this, with this nail, but because you have to turn around and take that nail off, you can't make it too thick. You don't want to make it too long because you don't really have the tools in there to really cut a tip down. So that's going to be extra time that you're filing. And you only have 30 minutes to get the tip off. Um, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, you only have 20 minutes to get it off. So, right. So you'll be in there filing forever if you do that. Um, but in saying all of that, outside of um, State Board, I did say the very first set of nails that I did on someone outside of my family when I actually did someone's nails was a set of sculpted nails. And honestly, it's probably one of my best, one of my favorite sets. It's on my business card. It's one of the favorite, oh, wow. favorite we'll sets. Oh, wow. Look at that. She had, and her business card is very cute. She um, has her senior hand. And then this her Instagram, screenshot of her Instagram page on the back. I, I think, think that's my really Instagram cute. page for real. <laughs> but you know, drag and drive. You can get these you templates and stuff on Canva. Did you make that on Canva? I absolutely. Oh, made it on see, Canva. See, or, see, went to school see. for graphic design and, and still made Canva it. Canva is, Canva. I'm telling you, Canva is the best thing that ever could have came up with. Money. It's for real. So, again, uh, saves time. Got an advantage over other nail techs. And then the last thing that I would bring up is to, in my opinion, they can be made more ma natural looking. And more customized to your nail shape. And you don't have to worry about like, the bubbles or anything. Glue, yeah. Glue, yeah. The, uh, and the nail newest. is going to be completely made of acrylic. And not have that line of demarcation where mm -hmm. you have with tips. Okay? So, you'll notice also, and we have, there's like a million. Here we go, right here. I have a bunch of them on here. Okay, on here. There, you'll notice that there's guidelines. All right, y'all. Y'all be distracting me. Shh, whisper. Um, there's guidelines on these forms which help you decide how long you want to make the nail. And this is so much easier for the client because when you get it on there, I always ask them once the, the forms are on there, okay, uh, how long do you want it? And they're going to say, hmm, well, Right. I think I want a three. So you know what I always do? A four. A four, a four. And then when that, because they're going to, well, also, you also have to remember lining up these three nails to make the length the same, right? And then those pinkies in the thumb, remember what we said about last week, the shorter one, you want to make it a little longer. So I just put in my mind, I'm going to do all of them before, and then I'll bring the, bring it down, because then I have room to, to work with the length. And make them more perfect, okay? So whatever they say, make it one line longer, just so that you can have work room to to file those nails down. My friend Chris, who is a uh, he's on the live right now. He's a a, a sculptor, 
a sculptor, uh, a fellow sculptor, he said, as a professional, he doesn't even own nail glue. Uh, there's no need for you to have nail glue if you don't have used tips at all or dip resin or anything like You don't need nail glue for what? Uh, unless you're one of those nail techs that want to glue down your lifting, y'all. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. That is the worst thing you can ever do. But anyway, hey, Zay. Zay, what you doing? On the, you cheating on TikTok with... with uh, uh, he's on TikTok. Cheating. Oh, he on both. Oh, I forgot. He got like he works at AT&T now, so he probably got 18 phones to put on right now. <laughs> but you see these guidelines, and they're different on every form, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we're going to go over all these different forms that I have here. Oh, yeah, why don't you get yeah, pull out some of those? They're different on every form. You can show some of those to the girls. But... um. Forms are, you, how you choose your forms are the same as how you choose your brush, your man, like I say, always say, right? Um, so we'll get into that in a second. But uh, what are these? Are these reusable? Are, the, are these reusable? What, so what would they be? They're, they're considered one-time use, right? Single use, please throw these away. Y'all can pass those around so that everybody can see the different ones um, that I have. And the reason I have so many of those is because I actually was thinking about, if you look on the back of those, it'll say what they are, what they're made of, because I was, um, about, I actually have a, a, a form design sitting in my inbox. It's just, I've got to buy 500 rolls. These are the ones that Christy they're all the same. You just all you do is upload your design and they and they will print the design on that form. So, you know, manufacturing is not cheap, y'all. You can't buy 20 rolls of a custom form. You got to buy 5,000. Okay? Uh right there. Yep. Um so these forms, hmm? Do you have You didn't just hear what I just said. You was talking. That's why you need. Shh. Yeah, we, we got y'all. Y'all need to shh. Dis disturbing me. I can't even think because it ain't but four y'all in here trying to trying to. So I just said that I have one design sitting in my inbox. I just don't want to buy right now. By, oh, sir, how did you get there? Please hang up. How do you do that? Uh uh. How do you get? How do you get that off? I don't know how you do that. Hi, can you hang up, please? Hang up. I don't know what I did. Bye. Um, anyway, so I ha I didn't want to purchase 5,000 of them because it was like, you know, $10,000. And then I'd be sitting here with 15 boxes of forms in the middle of our living room here. <laughs> what am I going to do with all that? So I'm not quite at that point yet. Sir, please hang up. Sir, please hang up. Bye. Bye. Hang up. How do you disconnect? I can't even get him. <laughs> I let somebody in. He's just sitting there. Oh, Why don't you come over I, here and try to do it? I, I'm, I'm, anyway, we're going to try to get you off this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so, I don't know what to push to do that. I don't know how to. I was trying to just decline. Okay. I was trying to decline. Oh, my God. It still won't. It still won't. It's an X somewhere. He won't. I'm trying to. Oh, you kissing my other side. Woo, there we go. I did it. Hey, I did it. He's just sitting there like. Very awkward. Sorry, I meant to decline him. I meant to decline him and I actually accepted him. Wait, I'm going to get to it in just a second. So, um, before we move on to me talking about each one of these forms that you guys are looking at, that I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but these are your reusable disinfectable, sanitizable metal forms, okay? Or it's not, they're metal and plastic, okay? So these can be disinfected and sanitized, sanitized and disinfected, excuse me, not autoclaved or sterilized. Why? You want to pass them around so they can see them? It, uh, this, this right here looks metal, but it's actually plastic, okay? It's a plastic. And when you, if you... These are really, uh, now I, I, after looking at these, I don't know if y'all saw that comment I made on this one lady who's a, uh, in Dubai. She's selling these nail rings mm -hmm. yeah. where whatever. I made a comment. It's gone by, it's got like 800 comments on it, but 
Because I was like, because she said she was going to put us out of business, nail technicians, because she created a, um, a nail ring that you can put press-ons on. And it looks, it looks like this around your all five fingers because I think if you're Muslim, you cannot wear polish while you're praying or something like that. So she can pop them off while she's praying. No, they pray a lot, like five times a day or something like that. So I was like, well, what makes you think you're about to put us out of business? Like, I need an explanation. And she's, but she, and I was like, this is a serious question because I have this business that I'd like to know what it is that you're going to do that's going to put us out of business. And she was like, no. Um, and, you know, I said respectfully and seriously. And she was like, um, no, well, you know, this so, is why yeah. we do it. And I was like, oh, so you mean Muslim nail yeah, techs in Dubai or wherever? Because, baby, we don't have no need for that here unless you are, you know. So, yeah, she was like, no. Well, I said, so basically you're marketing it to Muslim women who uh, that pray four or five times a day and can't wear polish. She was like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I but a, a lot of, com I got a lot of comments on that. Yeah. I did so see the problem is, though. so what it is, is when you make wudu, which is when you're washing before prayer, um, you can't, it, the water has to be able to touch every part. Every part, every and part. if you've got polish you've got on. got polish on, you can't touch your nails. But they make nail water polish. Water soluble. soluble. Water soluble. That, so hmm. that's. Well, I don't know. But I just thought it was, I just made that comment on I was like, girl, don't say that. Because what you got says special. But now I see what she did. She made these. She had these. And there's some kind of way. There's like a little, she put a little notch on the back of the press. You got to buy the special press. And it sticks down in there. It sticks in it. I made it. I made a kind of, it's a very, very popular comment. I can tell you that. I get likes on it. They like it. But they explained it. So what did he say? He said he inter he recorded this whole thing with the dude on the screen. He's gonna send it to you. Oh my God! I hate send you. It to me too. I hate you. So these are really cool. Um, but the thing about them is you can't cut them. You can't make sure if your client doesn't have that perfect shape that fits right underneath that form. It's this is gonna be for a one particular shape of nail. Period. Okay. So um. Yeah, they're cool, but I did notice that these would be really good for sculpting duck nails. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, sculpting duck nails isn't hard to do. All you got to do is make sure you don't close your form. I got some duck nip, duck tips the other day. I love them, but I don't like them on myself. Uh, well, she only had certain sizes, so I was like, well, she said she was going to get some more next week. So I was like, all right, well, let me get these sizes. These, I just don't know, baby. I just don't hey, know. I do it this man. I said, oh! do it. I can't. Oh! Yes. She no, said, do it, Miss Mary. I can't. Do I can't. A boss and CEO don't. could never. That's not elite enough. It's not. <laughs> this is not an elite shape. No, no, no. But these would be great for, and again, you can reuse these, okay? Um, these were like five bucks or something. I didn't spend a lot of money on them. But I only, I only bought them to show you guys what they are, okay? Now, let's talk about these different disposable forms, all right? Um, as you can see, they come in different shapes, different lengths. And why is that? Why would you need a square form? And this one shouldn't even be stuck on here, uh, why would you need a square shape opening right here? Just so you guys know, that's what this is for. This opening in the form is for you to put your finger through, okay? Just like I did. Um, where did all those gold forms? Will you give me those? Yes. I, I, need a, I need the whole roll because I'm going to go through a lot of them in the next few minutes. Um, and when I say uh, the hole... here it goes like this okay so that when I when I say that's what you how you put it on or where the whole the finger goes it goes on like that so why would I need because these are both basically the same exact form right mm -hmm. this one is a square shape opening and this one has an oval shape opening mm -hmm. why would I need why would I want one versus the other different nail shapes, yeah. right? Yeah. So if I look at my nail, and I, just so you guys know, I had polish on yesterday. Um, I did a, I got another review coming out of a salon I did in Lakeland <laughs> when I was down there with, with Zay. I'm almost done with it. Um, but it literally peeled off mm. after I took a bath. Wow. 
it just peels right off. So oh. my nails Something don't have any polish on them. And that's good because I want to show you why you would, how you shape, pick the shape of the form, right? So when you're looking at your client's natural nail, okay, you can see that my nail, natural nail shape, if I trim every bit of the free edge off all the free edge <coughs> we're looking at the shape of your natural nail it's out of focus, it's out of focus. focus on me. here we go is it focus mm -hmm. i don't have my glasses on okay so you can see that my natural nail has a, a roundness to it mm -hmm. right so this shape matches my natural nail shape i can put it under that free edge and it it butts right up to that hyponychium mm -hmm. in a round shape. But not everybody's nail shapes are the same. Some people have more square shapes. Because if you even if you look at this one in comparison to this one, it's more, more boxy. It's not as oval mm -hmm. as the other if I were to cut all that free edge off the white of your nail. Now, this one, I always talk about my little pinky nail. This pinky nail is has such a high hyponychium that I couldn't even fit this one on here because it would hurt if I put it on. I need one that's deeper, one more like this. Okay. Okay. So do you need to buy a whole bunch of forms? I mean, Miss Mary got a bunch. But that's because I've had I've been collecting nail products for 30 years, you guys. Okay. <laughs> Glitters that you guys are it's gonna take you 30 years to get to this Okay, unless you just rich So baby, y'all know how much polish costs every last one of them I bought with my own money Okay, so you ain't it's gonna take you some time. All right, so I do have a lot. Do you need all of them? Absolutely not. Okay, so <clears throat> But there are certain ones that you may want to purchase so that you don't have to buy all of them, right? So in school, you're going to use this generic gold form. And when I say generic, it's, it's just a no name brand. But Tammy Taylor is the one who first came out with these gold forms right here. Okay. The competitive edge forms. And everybody kind of copied them after that. Because uh, you, can, you can get forms made. They come like this with no name. But I can put my name on it. Right. Just mm -hmm. like everybody, everybody else. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, when you are applying these onto those mannequin hands, it's pretty difficult. It's kind of difficult because, you know, they're stiff and rigid. Yeah. It won't stick. So I say that to say, if when you are practicing sculpted nails, please don't just practice on your hands. Like, do it. You're going to have to get practice on a human because these forms are not going to fit everybody, right? So you may, back when I was doing nails full time, I made sure I had the Tammy Taylor square forms, a roll of those. I made sure I had the oval form. She has a, a white oval form. She has the gold, normal, regular, small, round form. And then she has these extra long. This is her version I of extra long. Yeah, so those, I had all of those. But really, I didn't need to purchase all of them because I could customize just one of them if I needed to. And that's that event, where that advanced sculpting comes in, okay? So that class that I was telling you about, we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, now, where's those clear ones? Okay. So the clear ones, and that when I say clear, they're not like clear, clear. They're just see-through, okay? Why would you need these compared to one, maybe one like this? For gel, absolutely, because... Again, we talked about this earlier. Gel, the biggest problem with the industry today is these, these DIYers not curing their gel properly and they're ending up with contact dermatitis. Well, this is where this can be a problem if you're sculpting with a form that is not see-through. Why? Because the light has to bounce, and we'll be doing gel next week. The light has to bounce up underneath and hit underneath the nail, around the nail, the top of the nail. And if it if the light can't see through the form, then it will be uncured gel underneath that form. And when you go to pull it away, it'll still be wet, like, like it never saw light at all. Then you got to turn the client's hand around. You got to do this, and then you got to file that little file it smooth. It's just a mess. So these are very good to have for a UV gel. And that's a tip. How do we size a tip? From sidewall to sidewall. 
So when we're fitting this form on, it also needs to be sidewall side to sidewall. So if I fit, even if I put it on this pinky that I know fits, what, those flaps are in the way. I need to cut those. So how would I make this form fit perfectly? Well, I'm going to look at the lines mm -hmm. that meet up with my sidewall. And if this tiny little pinky that I got here, it's the only small thing I got on me. Um, it, I would say it's that first line that's right, the, the very first one. So these are easy to customize. So these scissors that you guys keep seeing on the internet, mm -hmm. people using them to cut the PNFs, that's not what they're for. 